Hello everyone. Welcome to winter. Uh, here I am at the town site of Glen Robinson, one of the first communities in this area. 1897. It's now private property, but this road heads down to the old town site of Glen Robinson. It was, as I said, one of the first communities in this area. It was basically the base camp of all the mines that went on up in these hills. Um, back in the 1800s, late 1800s, there was miners all over this countryside. And uh, this area behind Peachland actually has a lot, a lot of small gold deposits. Nothing big enough for today's big uh, scale mining to profit, but back in the day with people with picks and shovels, there was lots and lots of opportunities for small teams to go and make a small audit into the hillside and pull out a bit of gold and a bit of silver too. Uh, so the town site here only has one or two cabins left, uh, mostly just an open field down there. I happen to know the guy that owns it, uh, but I didn't tell him I was coming up today so I won't actually go on to his private land. He doesn't like strangers down there. Uh, I'm going to take you guys up to uh, one of the sites, one of the small deposits, the Tucano Mineral Occurrence. It's up on a couple of little creeks where I'm making some claims and uh, show you around up there a bit. It's uh, one of the untouched ones. It, they never actually did mine that one in any way. Uh, a lot of uh, assays and they were checking it out a lot, but they never did mine it. Um, taking some rock samples from there, nice galena and uh, gonna make a few claims up there and see what's see what we can find. Anyhow, town site of Glen Robinson. So here I am at uh, what I'm calling Decano Creek. It's actually a no-name creek that runs into Camp Creek. Uh, checking out the new claim. Unfortunately, whew, I'm pushing the season way too far into winter. It is frozen up here. And pretty soon the snow is going to keep us from driving on these roads. They're okay now, but it's starting to come down. So unfortunately my creek is uh, solid. No way I'm going to get in there and uh, do any test pans today. Uh, just down on the main road right now. I'm just going to go up the hill into the claim here in a second. And uh, look at things. Don't think I'm gonna be able to test it all today. I do hear Camp Creek just over there. Ooh, it's right there. I hear it, so it's still running. Uh, there might be some open spots to check down here. Uh, this creek has interested me for years because of some of the assay reports just up the hill. Just barely up the hill, a few hundred yards up there. Uh, they did some creek sediment sampling and actually at one point came up with uh, 2.9 no 2,900 parts per billion that's almost three grams per ton that's huge um, so if they found some assay results like that maybe there's more they weren't all that big that was one anomaly but it is definitely worth investigating to see if this creek has more of that in it Okay, I'm gonna run upstream and uh, see if we can get into the main claim. So, I'm right at the spot now. Hi right there. Right at the spot where the sediment samples were taken. And they got those great, great results. As you can see here, the creek is tiny. Now this isn't the main creek. This is just a little tiny wash that comes into the main creek. Uh, it runs all year round. Strange in this dry environment, this one stays running. Um, the sediment samples were taken basically oh, just upstream on this little tiny creek. Upstream from the main, the main creek. What I've been calling Decano Creek just because it's uh, the Decano um, mineral deposit that this creek cuts through and actually this little mound right here right in between the two creeks that is the mineral deposit the quartz vein that has so much mineralization comes through goes right through that corner then cuts through this little creek as well and then off into the hills 
So this creek is washing out from that quartz vein, and so is the main creek. And all the sediment samples right from the junction of these two creeks had lots of gold in them. As I said, 2,900, I think it was 29, 2,900 parts per billion. That's almost three grams per ton. That's three times as rich as my main mine on Trout Creek. Here we go. This is amazing. Now, as I said, it's frozen, frozen solid. Love to get in here. I wish I'd come in when it was still thawed, but uh, this stuff is frozen solid now. This is the main creek. A little deceiving how much water comes down this creek because of the way it froze, it looks like a lot more water than is normally here. But again, this creek runs all year round. There's always some water in it. Even late August, there's a bit. I'm gonna see if I can make my way up into the little canyon here because there's a really nice bedrock canyon just upstream. Well, here I am at this vein. I know the camera won't pick it up. This here is a crazy sphalerite and quartz vein that runs through these rocks. And you can find the uh, samples of the stuff that have pockets of quartz crystals. You can find galena all through them. Different mineralization, metallic mineralization. And this is where the vein goes right through the creek. Here's the creek. Crazy little waterfall here, frozen solid. And over on the far side of the creek, there's the vein again, up through there. And there's been lots of sampling done of this vein to see if it was worthwhile mining the actual hard rock. And obviously, well, no one's done it yet, so maybe not, but sounds like some of it's washed out into this creek, and there's some great spots on this creek. I'm walking on the frozen creek, I'm not sure how smart that is. I may end up with a very cold, wet foot before this day's out. Anyhow, I don't think I'm going to be able to get right up into the canyon. It's just right there. It's just up there, the, the little canyon. Uh, I wanted to go pan there, but obviously there's no <laughs> there's no liquid water today. I can hear a bit trickling underneath the ice, but nothing I can pan. It's a good looking claim. I hope there's some good gold on it. This is one of those unknowns. The assay samples say it's here, but I don't know if it is. 